Hello, 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 everyone. Sharice Johnson Moore here, your hope builder, lifting you up out of your sorrow by guiding you to see the Christ within through scripture and practical applications. And it is time, it is time, it is time. It is time for our daily devotional. Today, we will be talking about 1 Kings chapter 17, 1 through 24. 1 Kings chapter 17, 1 through 24, and it speaks about Elijah and the widow. Elijah and the widow. So I want you to get your Bibles, your tablets, cell phones, however you may be reading the word, and come on and let's deep dive into what God is going, God is going to teach us today about how to apply it to our daily living. All right now, come on, let's get busy with our daily devotional. Hello to all my entrepreneurs. My name is Sharice Johnson Moore. I am the owner CEO of LBM TV. It is a streaming channel that can be located on the C1 Media Network Smart TV app. This app can be located on Apple TV, Roku TV, Amazon Fire Stick, Android TV, and Google TV. We have advertising spots available for businesses that want to advertise their products or services on our channel. We have an audience of 4.25 million viewers daily reaching 70 plus countries. We have advertising packages to fit your company's needs. We would love for you to join the LBM family. You can reach us through our email address, lbmtvmedia at gmail.com or call us at 724-570-1153 for further details. Talk to you soon and let's advertise, advertise and tell the world what you are made of. First Kings chapter 17, 1 through 24, and it reads, And Elijah the Tishbite, who was of the inhabitants of Gilead, said unto Ahab, As the Lord God of Israel liveth, before whom I stand, there shall not be dew nor rain these years, but according to my word. And the word of the Lord came unto him, saying, Get thee hence, and turn thee eastward, and hide thyself by the brook Shereth, that is before Jordan. And it shall be that thou shalt drink of the brook, and I have commanded the ravens to feed thee there. So he went and did according unto the word of the Lord. For he went and dwelt by the brook Shereth, that is before Jordan. And the ravens brought him bread and flesh in the morning, and bread and flesh in the evening. And he drank of the brook. And it came to pass after a while that the brook dried up, because there had been no rain in the land. And the word of the Lord came unto him, saying, Arise, get thee to Zarephatha, which belongeth to Zidon, and dwell there. Behold, I have commanded a widow woman there to sustain thee. So he arose and went to Zarephath. And when he came to the gate of the city, behold, the widow woman was there gathering of sticks. And he called to her and said, Fetch me, I pray thee, a little water in a vessel that I may drink. 
And as she was going to fetch it, he called to her and said, Bring me, I pray thee, a morsel of bread in thine hand. And she said, As the Lord thy God liveth, I have not a cake, but an but an handful of meal in a barrel, and a little oil in a cruise. And behold, I am gathering two sticks, that I may go in and dress it for me and my son, that we may eat it and die. And Elijah said unto her, Fear not, go and do as thou hast said. But make me thereof a little cake first, and bring it unto me, and after make for thee and for thy son. For thus saith the Lord God of Israel, The barrel of meal shall not waste, neither shall the cruse of oil fail, until the day that the Lord sendeth rain upon the earth. And she went and did according to the saying of Elijah. And she and he and her house did eat many days. And the barrel of meal wasted not, neither did the cruise of oil fail. According to the word of the Lord, which he spake to spake by Elijah. And it came to pass after these things that the son of the woman the mistress of the house fell sick, and his sick and his sickness was so sore that there was no breath left in him. And she said unto Elijah, What have I to do with thee, O thou man of God? Art thou come unto me to call my sin to remembrance? And to slay my son. And he said unto her, Give me thy son. And he took him out of her bosom and carried him up into a loft, where he abode and laid him upon his own bed. And he cried unto the Lord and said, O Lord my God, hast thou also brought evil upon the widow with whom I sojourn by slaying her son? And he stretched himself upon the child three times, and cried unto the Lord, and said, O Lord my God, I pray thee, let this child so come, come in to him again. And the Lord heard the voice of Elijah, and the soul of the child came into him again, and he revived. And Elijah took the child and brought him down out of the chamber into the house and delivered him into unto his mother. And Elijah said, See, thy son liveth. And the woman said to Elijah, Now by this I know that thou art a man of God, and that the word of the Lord in thy mouth is true. I've just read 1 Kings chapter 17, 1 through 24. Oh dear Heavenly Father, we come to you to say thank you. Lord, we say thank you for allowing us to see another day, another another time, another moment to spend with you, Lord. We thank you. In the mighty name of Jesus, we do pray. Amen, amen, and amen. Authors, 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 have you written a book? Are you an experienced author or a new author? Well, I've got news for you. Authors Excerpt Sunday is the perfect start to growing your audience awareness with the public. Authors Excerpt Sunday has interview spots available in many forms. Live broadcasting done on all social media outlets, television, and podcasting. We would love to help you tell the world about your book. 
You can reach us at I am Sharice at ShariceNJohnsonMoore.com or 724-570-1153 for further details. And let's tell the world about your book. All right, all right, all right. Let's deep dive into this chapter and see what God is telling us uh, how to apply this, what has happened in this chapter of 1 Kings 17 into our daily living. So Elijah is one of God's chosen to complete complete an assignment. Okay? He tells him to... He tells him to get up and go to a particular place. And he already tells him, God already tells Elijah, look, I already know there's not going to be no no food or water, no rain, no this, no that, uh, you know, for a while. No rain for a while. No rain. I'm, I'm giving you a heads up. I'm giving you a heads up. To let you know there's not going to be rain for a while, but you need to get to this place and I will provide for you food and water. See how good God is. God gives an Eli- Elijah a, a, gives Elijah a assignment. Elijah don't ask him no questions. Elijah just get up and do what God says. And during this course of he goes to the river, he goes to goes to goes to the place where God has told him to go and he's provided for for that time being, right? Okay, but the time is up for that too. God says, I'm gonna feed you. And make sure you have something to drink, but you still have to move on from that place after that has dry. After that has dried, or the brook dries up, God gives him all this heads up. Now you know God give him heads up. Okay, so he turns around and then he moves from that place where he had the food and the water at Shebrith. Shebrith, that's the name of the place he was going to. Okay, he leaves there. And then he run, and then he 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 runs right into the widow woman, and the widow woman does not have much. She does not have enough for him or her son, right? And she's making her. She really. She really. She is really already getting ready. To make her way <clears throat> that she thinks is gonna be her last meal for her and her son, and she say, I know I'm gonna die. We preparing to die. Okay, that's what we that's what we get ready fit. That's what we get ready to do. We get ready, I'm gonna cook this meal and we get ready to die. But Elijah tells her, No. <clears throat> I would like for you to cook me something. And bring me something to drink. And so she does. She 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 does. She she she's kind of hesitant about it at first, but she goes ahead and does as Elijah asks her. And then her son comes down with sickness. Until he almost out of breath and he's like he's on his dying bed and things like that. And Elijah pleads to God for the boy. Now, he lays with the boy three times, prays to God, lays with him three times, and God has heard Elijah's cry and answers his prayers with reviving the, the boy. 
the lady's son. Okay? And then, it really shows the lady that he is a man of God with what he has done. He didn't just leave her with a dying kid and just leave her the way she, he, leave her in that state of mind. It's so many lessons or so many things I could tell you about this, this chapter here that you could learn, you could apply, how you could apply this to your daily living. First, we're going to go with the obedience part. Well, now, Elijah just does what God asks him. He doesn't ask God any questions. He goes to the, God gives him a specific, specific thing to do, and he doesn't hesitate to do it. Okay, so Elijah, okay, knows about obedience. Then then Elijah, uh, God leads Elijah to another place for this, to lead him to this woman. He said, look, I'm going here to give you, God tells Elijah, I'm going to give you heads up and let you know that it's not going to be too much rain, too much rain or uh, any rain or dew anytime soon. So I'm going to send you somewhere where you will be provided for, where I will make the provision for you ahead of time. Okay, obedience. Then he turned around and leads him to the widow woman and her son. And the lesson for that is, is she hesitates at first. She said, look, I don't have much. I, I don't have a lot. I don't have, you know, and sometimes God, with your little, he will make a lot. He will expand your little that you have and make it a lot. He will increase your territory. He will increase what you have if you are faithful over a few things. Okay. If you're faithful with just doing your ministry and you're faithful with doing what God has for you and all those things, and if you're faithful, if you're faithful over oh, a few things, he'll give you many. And she doesn't hesitate to fix him his meal. So he fixed, so she fixed the meal, and all her and the boy, her and her son and Elijah sit down to eat. And because she has shared, God has given her overflow with her meal and her oil in her vessels. God has given her the spatula of her meal. And her oil and her vessels. And 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 it is so poignant that 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 is happening in everyday living. Then he goes and the boy gets sick. Elijah didn't run off and say, Oh, well, that's not my problem, you know, that I ain't got nothing to do with that, you know. Um Elijah stays and prays over the boy. Praise over the boy, lays with the boy, um, ask God to revive him, and prays over the, the, the to deliver the sickness from the boy, and 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 that God hears his cry and the boy boy is revived. Now think about it. Say somebody come, somebody strange come to your house, and you know you ain't got no food. You might got a you might got you got a noodle or something, a noodle. Like, say we got one spaghetti. Like, you got one pack of spaghetti, and you got a little bit of, uh, you got, uh, you don't have no sauce. Just imagine that you got spaghetti, but you have no sauce, no vegetables, no cucumbers, no, no cucumbers, no, no, no nothing in the house but this cat, this box of spaghetti. Somebody come to your house and talk about, can you feed me? Okay. And they always say, never know when God will send you an angel in disguise. So you fix that spot box of spaghetti and you say, okay, I'm going to put some butter on it. You might have butter in the refrigerator. You might not have no butter. 
you might just go ahead and say, okay, well, uh, I just got this bread. I might got a loaf of bread, like three three pieces of bread and a loaf of bread left, right? So you got to make the spaghetti and you got bread and that's what y'all eat. And because you have, you have opened your home to a stranger that you do not know their statue or you don't know nothing about this person. You don't know nothing about this person. That you invite them in and you feed them. God has seen the goodness in your heart to bless you with more. If you realize that in this text, it is a lot of obedience. If you're going to pass a test, test is only a test. And how, 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 how you stand by people on the brink of death. How you stand by people. How you stand. Stay. How you don't. How you don't uh, walk away from people. How you. How you are so faithful, and you want to pray over a stranger. You pray over someone that you do not even know. And because you prayed for this person, this person might have been delivered from whatever their ailment was because of your prayer. Say somebody else came in and be like, okay, all right, I'm going to pray. But they really, their heart won't sincere. They just did it to be doing it. And then, okay, they just left. It's all about how you hear the, 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 the hearing you hear. Are you listening? Are you being obedient to what God is asking you to do? And the doing, it also has doing. It's look, you gonna do this or not? You know, you gonna either listen to me or not listen to me. You know, you got a choice. Uh, the assignment, okay, the assignment is up. Move on, okay. Now he moved on to the widow woman. He was faithful in everything God asked him to do. And then I'm gonna say it like this: He didn't. It was like a. It was like a second nature to him. It's like a nature to him. It's all natural. It's, it's when, when you're that close to God, there is no hesitation and either you're going to do, you're in your doing, following instruction, being obedient, going to someone's house and possibly blessing them just with your presence and being a help while you're there. It doesn't matter. It, it, you don't. You don't necessarily have to uh, turn around and have to save anybody. You could just be there, be their company. You could be their company, so they can sit and have somebody to talk to, or you go in their house and cook for them, or you go in their house, you take them some groceries. You might, you know, might been, you know, when she didn't have, she, you go to somebody's house, you and they ain't got nothing, you go and buy some food. It could be that way. It all how you look at life in general, you know, sometimes our assignments aren't what they what you want them to be. They they have to stay seldom very are. They seldom are like that. What they want what you want them to be. It's what God wants you to do for somebody else. God had already prepared him to have a meal before he even went to the the widow woman. So, before he went to the widow woman, he really might, he might have not even been hungry. But he was just testing her to see how her heart was. Hey, so now, like I said, God tests you like that. To see where you stand at on your goodness and grace and mercy. He, he blesses with you, he blesses that with you every day. But, you know... But that's how it is. That, that's how it is. You never know who's who you're blessing when you come in contact with people. Don't lose sight of that. 
It's all about being faithful to that assignment. God asks you to do something, or the man of God, or somebody. God, so it don't even have to be a man of God. It could be somebody, a regular person on the street, Tom, Dick, and Harry, Sue, Jane, or Mary. And they like, I need, I'm hungry. And they could be homeless, okay? Because I run into this all the time in Pittsburgh when I go. I'm hungry. <clears throat> I don't have nothing to eat. Can you give me this? Can you? Okay. Here you go. It might be, it'll be, it could be my last. It could be my last. It could be like, okay, I ain't got no money. My bank account low. Okay, God say, give that person that dollar. Give the person this. God speaks to you in so many ways. You have to learn how to have the sermon and listen. You know, sometimes when you listen, when you so intent in listening to God, it causes you to block out all the nonsense and distraction that Satan sends your way. And that's what, that's, that's a good way to be. It's not a bad way to be. When you don't have time for other people drama, you don't have time for other people's mess, with all this stuff that they bring to your door, dropping your, drop, they got luggage. They got a whole luggage set with them. They come to your house. And you know what kind of drama they going to bring. But you know, be like, look, uh-uh, I can't do that. I can't deal with you. I can't, I can't, I can't deal with you in that manner. I can't deal with you in that manner. I can't deal with you in that life. I can't, I don't want to. Sometimes it, it means keeping out the outside world, you know, for all this stuff that's going on. I mean, not to ignore it, but look, that's not part of what God got me here for. And sometimes you need your peace of mind. You need your peace of mind. And sometimes we got to go off. Elijah was up by himself. He didn't bring Tom. He didn't bring Tom, Dick, or Harry, okay? He went on his mission by himself. And some, and a lot of times, if you have read in this Bible, if you have read this Bible, he always does stuff by himself. He, he, he always sends you somewhere where you do not need assistance or you will need assistance and is already prepared ahead for you. And they're always giving an assignment. But, but the thing is, is you got to be obedient and do it. Sometimes you got to do it by yourself. You got to do stuff by yourself. Everything don't don't involve cousin Sue and and Willie, Tom, and Lester, and it don't. Your assignment is your assignment, not somebody else's. And we can't dog, we can't dump our stuff off on other people either. You know. And sometimes we had to stick around with people that really need our help, that need our assistance, instead of saying, that ain't none of my business. Or acting like it's not none of your business. Some things God presents in front of you to get your attention to see what your faith look like. Because you're going to step out there on faith. Right? So... This has been our lesson for today's daily devotional. And I greatly appreciate everyone listening to daily devotional. Okay? So until next time, talk to you on daily devotional. Hello to all my entrepreneurs. My name is Sharice Johnson Moore and welcome to Sharice Johnson Moore's podcast. Do you have products and services that you want to tell the world about? Well, I have an offer for you. Did you know that when you make a 60 minute voiceover ad and place it in podcasts, that it increases your business awareness by 50% in the marketplace? Voice-over ads aren't that expensive. They range from $15 to $25. It all depends on where you place your ad in the podcast. So come on in and place your ad on Sharice Johnson Moore's podcast and tell the world what you have to offer. You can reach me at imsharice at sharicenjohnsonmoore.com or 724-570-1153 for further details. Come on, let's tell the world what you are made of. I know, 
I know, I know, I know. It was getting good, wasn't it? But it is time for us to depart until next time on Daily Devotional. We want to thank Anchor.fm.com for being our home for this podcast and distributing it to the following podcast channels. Apple, Google, Spotify, Breaker, Overcast, Radio Public, Pocket Cast, Verbal, Amazon Music, Audible, Reason, CastBox, and now we can be found on iHeartRadio. Yes, iHeartRadio. If you have enjoyed listening to this podcast segment of Daily Devotional or any of the other Segments, Morning Word of Worship, Let's Talk Sunday, Entrepreneur Corners, and Authors Extra Sunday. We would greatly appreciate your support of this podcast with a monthly donation with as little as 99 cents, $4.99, and $9.99 to this broadcast that will keep it thriving and leveling up because of your love and support. You can give your donation through GPay or any major credit card. So, we greatly appreciate everyone listening to the podcast. You can go to Anchor. Dot fm dot com backslash Sharice Johnson Moore backslash support. Go to anchor dot fm dot com backslash Sharice Johnson Moore backslash support to give your monthly donation. I want to say thank you to everyone that takes out your time to listen to this podcast. And until next time, talk to you on Daily Devotional.